turn left to go, go straight ahead. Different enzymes are waiting here to take it in different directions. That's true at all of these points. There are always choices that could be made in metabolic flow. So you take in a whole bunch of glucose. You just had a candy bar from, left over from animal weed. If your cell that's metabolizing that glucose is desperate for ATP, it's going to send that stuff down here to your Krebs cycle because you're going to get a ton of ATP out of that. If the cell has lots of ATP and it's in kind of a resting state, maybe it wants to use that glucose to make storage fats. So it would come down here to acetyl-CoA and then it would send someone up here to fatty acids. A choice is made at these junctions. Decisions are made, metabolic decisions. Do we go this way? Do we go that way? Do we go this way? How is that determined? When the acetyl-CoA is produced, what is it? A dog fight, first come, first serve, the first enzyme that grabs it. If this guy grabs it, we make a lipid. If this guy grabs it, we break it down to CO2. No, the metabolism doesn't run that. Intelligent choices are made based on the needs of the cell. And this is done through regulation. So signals about, let's say, the energy status of the cell, does it need more energy or not? Those kinds of signals will come back to these points and speed up or shut down enzymes as needed to get the flux going in the right direction. 